Yo, 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 hey guys. Um, sorry I missed yesterday. Uh, I was having some issues with my camera and my setup. So, like I promised on Tuesday, I wanted to kind of get into a little bit about making things sexy. Whatever that means to you, I don't know. So I figured I would start off, I started off with two basic outlines, like basic sketches of faces. Both of them are female. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one view of like what's kind of like your average cutesy whatever and then I'm gonna try and do another one that's a little more sexy a little more sultry and what exactly it takes to accomplish those things with just a few um, simple tweaks and I'm actually gonna bust out my um, my micron pens for this one so I already have it all penciled down what I'm gonna do here now is mostly just work with pen so what we're gonna do uh, actually yeah, like fancy little light setup too so hopefully you can see it a little bit better but um, I'm going to start off with the eyes on the average on the uh, normal one so with that I'm just going to kind of block in some real simple eyebrows and when you do this like usually like for like an average female like the eyebrows are a little lower a little thicker maybe like what you'll see like when you do like uh like a sexy eyebrow, sometimes it goes a little higher. You know, it's like raised a little higher. I like to like, it's a little thinner. I like to pull it up. It gives it a little bit more of a, I, I don't know, like bedroom look. So we got this, this one over here with the regular eyebrows. Not really plucked in a couple weeks maybe. So, <laughs> on this one with the uh, the regular version, I'm going to start like chunking in the eyes here. And I'm just going to keep them really simple. A little round, a little more open. Not a whole lot of uh, mascara or eyeliner on this version over here. So with that, we're going to kind of make her looking towards you out there. Do my little eye highlights. You know, there you have like your standard eyes. You know, they're a little open, a little more rounded. You know, what have you. So when I, I try and approach a girl that's a little more adult, a little more sexy or sultry if you will, what I usually like to do is I like to do like sweeping like strokes and we thicken up those eyelashes quite a bit and we actually bring the eyes in and they're a little more closed so already you can kind of see there's a pretty vast difference in the two gives you a little bit more of a bedroom eye and of course she has you know, like a little thicker makeup on. And the eyelashes are, or the eyebrows are higher. I'm going to go in and ghost in her eyes because she's looking at you as well. Do that. This little butt's not working too well. So there we go with it. Like so. I usually really like to exaggerate that eye makeup and those eyelashes. You can see a real nice sultry effect. So there you go. So you have one version, two version, and already you can kind of see the difference in the two. Now with the regular version, I'm going to go in and kind of get this little nose. It's going to be a little bit more rounded, a little more square on the tip, a little more full nostril. See this other nostril over here. Seems very girl next door looking so far. So with that, when I think of it like sexy, I try and use a little, few lines as possible. Kind of like, think of like John Romita Sr. type stuff. You know, keep that nose nice and small and simple. Very, very like few details suggested, but you get the feeling. So with her lips, I'm going to make her, her lips are a little thinner here. 
still cute, still work, you know. With the sexy ones, I tend to go a little fuller. You can see. Very plump. Or actually, so already you can kind of see the difference in the two there. And you can kind of see how the two faces stack up next to each other. So, let's keep on going. With the short, with the uh, average one, let's go on and chunk in her face. We're going to do her contours of her cheek a little lower, a little softer. A little cutesy jawline. Chunk in that ear. Like so. So you can see like her cheeks are a little more full. They're a little down, a little lower. And with the sexy one, kind of keep those cheekbones nice and high. And you keep that chin kind of pointed that jawline a little more square the ear is also going to be a little more a little smaller a little less detail so there you go so you see how their faces are kind of coming together separately and also when doing the hair like usually I mean, for me, short hair is sexy, long hair is sexy, medium hair is sexy, it's whatever works, whatever your preference. But for this one, I'm going to give her a, a little bit like of a thicker bang. And a little bit more of a conservative hairstyle. Of course, I'm using my Micron pen, my brush pen. I love it. It's great. It's great for quick work like this. It's great for just like going in and like doing these big lines. It's really awesome. Great pens. I, mean, I have these microns in droves. I mean I got millions of them all different sizes. I use them a lot especially at conventions doing sketches and commissions and stuff like that. So she looks kind of hillbilly-ish. She almost got like a mullet. I didn't really set out to make her look so homely, but I wanted a contrast here. So, with the sexy hair, let's just find a peak in the middle. We're going to give her some long hair. I'm going to part that in the middle. Like so. hair is kind of dinky do, but you get the idea. Keep it sexy, sexy it up a little bit, a little bit longer, tuck behind the ear. Looks good. So there you have it. You have a little example of just like dealing with faces, like the things that it takes to make a female face a little more sultry, a little more sexy. Like think about like the eyelashes and the lips, stuff like that, the length of the hair. Um, playing with the makeup on the face and on the eyes, making the lips fuller, less details on the nose, giving them some long hair. So, this one I kind of wanted to go into the faces. Next week, we'll jump into the figure and the body, go into different body types. I'll try and break down a couple different ones for you guys. Um, athletic build, curvaceous build, average build, stuff like that. But um, again, thanks for all the comments on the last video. It was awesome. You guys rock. Um, I do have a winner for the first prize. So you will be receiving notice shortly. The Fathom Volume 3 hardcover. Like I said, continue to get people to subscribe. Leave your comments. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your ideas on what you want to see in upcoming episodes. And uh, if you have any questions about what I did, Feel free to leave a question or a comment. Most likely I will get back to you and answer. 
Um, and then next, next Tuesday, we'll be back in San Diego, and we'll have another giveaway. I'm not quite sure what yet, but it'll be good. Again, thanks for tuning in. You guys have a great weekend, and I will see you next week.